Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? How is life? Um, so this week I thought I would do top 10 Disney guys because I did Disney villains and I think once upon a time I did Disney princesses. So it's only fitting to do the guys of Disney. Now, looking at this, this these are all Disney princesses. Princes? These are all Disney princes. So maybe I'll do... A different list on just Disney guys that are print that are princes so first and foremost obviously he's gonna be my favorite prince because he's from my favorite Disney movie Flynn Rider I just love that he starts as a, starts out as a criminal and through the throughout the movie he turns into a good guy um, and I feel like he's just misunderstood and so that's why he was a criminal to begin with Next up is Kristoff. Oh my gosh. I was team Kristoff from the first line he spoke from like the first time I saw him when he was a little kid. I didn't even know who he was. Him and Anna go so well together and I am so on his team and I'm so happy that they ended up together. Spoiler alert by the way. Next up is Prince Eric. I just love how down to earth he is and that he has a dog and that he doesn't really want to be like the typical prince he wants to be his own guy and he's really super down to earth and I just love that about him and next up is Aladdin and I love that he started from the bottom and then he worked his way to the top as in he married into royalty but he has such a good heart and I just I love that about him and he's just such a good guy and I love Abu and Genie. They're like some of my favorite sidekicks. Um, next up is the Beast slash Prince Adam. I really like that um at this movie this movie focused on it's not all about like what you have and like looks and stuff. It's like about your intelligence, I guess. Like it's it's like, intelligence is also important, and that uh, you don't have to conform to the stereotypes um, as a boy and a girl. Um, and I just love that he learned to love Belle, and he fell in love, and that Belle loved him even at his ugliest, and then he turned into a handsome prince, and I just love him. Next is Prince Charming um, from Cinderella. And he's just like... The typical prince, I guess, um, doesn't really care about, like, he doesn't really want to be at the ball, but I understand because the ball is to find him a wife and he doesn't really want to and he's, I guess he really isn't the typical prince, he just, um, he just wants true love and he goes to any lengths to find it and I feel like that's the sweetest thing ever. Next is John Smith. Um, so, yes, he did go, come over in the movie to America and I guess in real life too but I'm talking about the movie John Smith anyway he did come over to America and sorry I think I just bit was trying to take the land from the Native Americans but he met Pocahontas and he fell in love and he kind of changed and I liked that um I'm really sad that the real life version of Pocahontas did not end like the movie version of Pocahontas did but we can't have all, we all can't have happy ending. I mean, it, it can't always be happy ending, right? I don't know. Um, next up is Li Shang from Mulan. Um, I just, I find it so funny that Mulan, like, fooled him through the entire movie. And then once he found out, he was, like, he was so offended. He was like, I thought I was. I thought I was into cars for a second because you can definitely tell he's falling in love with Mulan throughout the movie. Um, next up is Prince Naveed and I like how in the beginning he's just like self-centered stuck up prince and then because he turned into a frog and he wanted an adventure with Tiana he starts to become more down to earth and more much more of a likable human. And last but not least is Prince Philip, um, from Sleeping Beauty, <laughs> uh, I just think it's, like, I would never really want this to happen, but I think it's cute that 
he was pledged to marry Aurora when they were little and then without even knowing it they fell in love when they were adults so it just like kind of came full circle I guess but I just thought it was really cute and he slayed a dragon for her and I feel like that's where everyone's like oh my person's gonna slay my dragon for me I don't know but those were my top 10 Disney princes um let me know down below in the comments what who your top 10 favorite Disney princess princes are they're all a wonderful princes excuse me and I love how they all evolve over the years and the course of the movies and stuff um so yeah if you liked it give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of me and my weird hilarity I guess you could say you need to hit that subscribe button because I post new videos every single Friday at 4 p.m. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see your beautiful faces next week. Bye!